What's going on everybody? Coach Al here and in the last video I hinted at the possibility of me like tinkering with NCAA Football 04 and just doing random stuff and today I kind of want to do that. I want to do like a basic overview of NCAA Football 04 and just some differences between this and like 06. That's like the best way for me to compare and to see what I like and what I don't like about a particular game. And I think starting with 04 is a good one because 04 is considered a classic. It's one of the higher ones. 04, 06 are always kind of grouped together for obvious and several different reasons. And we'll cover some of that today. But I want to go over some of the basics. We're going to go into the practice mode. And I want to show some differences in the run game and the passing game. And then maybe after that, we'll go into an exhibition game for a couple quarters, and that way you can kind of hear my thoughts on a few different things. And we'll just see kind of where it takes us. So here's the main screen. It's got to play now. We go to game modes and play online. This, in my personal opinion, was one of the reasons why people really loved 04. This was the first time EA Sports introduced online play in a college football game. So I think that helped push 04's status as, oh gosh, this is an awesome game. And it's still a really good game. It's different in its own way, but I have a feeling a play online option was a great push for it. So, I mean, that's just my opinion, though. Dynasty mode, we're going to probably cover that in another video because there's a lot of different things I want to talk about that, comparing it to 06. Let's go to College Classics. I thought this was an awesome addition. I think they removed them in 06. I think 05 still has these. But you could select any one of these classic games and play the last play down or uh, the last drive, depending on the situation. It's got like 20 of them, like the Ohio State-Miami game. I'm guessing if you like click Game Info, it kind of gives you the scenario. With three seconds left, the Canes need a 40-yard field goal to send the game in the overtime. Can you handle the pressure? I think this is really cool. I didn't play a whole lot of this. I was always just straight in the dynasty mode. But this is a cool little feature to see if you can be successful in every one of these situations. I bet it's really hard because I think a couple of these are uh, the Miracle at Michigan, the Colorado uh, Cordell Stewart, the Hail Mary. What are the odds of you completing that in this game? It's going to be tough. But I think this was a really cool feature that, again, I think they put in 05 and they took out in 06 because I guess they didn't have enough room. I'm not really sure, but either way, I think it's pretty cool. Rivalry game, I don't know why they added this because you could just go to exhibition mode and play these yourself, but I mean, it's it's there, I mean, which is okay. <coughs> mascot game, this was just another wasted mode. I mean, you just go up against mascots and you had the same talent. This is probably a good way to go up against a buddy and you know you had equal talent unless you just want to go up against the same teams. But either way, it's just another feature. Practice mode, we'll hit that here in a little bit. Let's go to features. They got creative school and creative player. Now, one thing I want to talk about creative player. There's a few things I want to cover. First of all, I think the player models in this game are awesome. I actually like them better than 06. I like the bigger, bulkier look of them. I like the big shoulder pads. If you go to, eh, we'll, we'll stay here, but if you go to maybe a linebacker, I don't know if it'll change it for us. But either way, I just like the big, bulky look of it all. It's clear, it's crisp, especially for being two years older than 06. I, thought, I think they look really slick. Now, one thing I like to use Creative Player for is to go through the jersey uh, look of all the teams. A good example is here, you can select which team you want him to go to. Now, I think in the later games, it's been forever since I've created a player, been the, like an 06, you do not select the team. You create the player, you save the player, and then you put him on whichever team you want to. In this game, it forces you to put him on a team right away. So when you go to Wyoming and then Air Force, see, it doesn't give you the option just to put him in a separate file. So that's, I guess that's a bit of a downer. But the reason why I bring this up is this is an awesome way to look at home uniforms for every team. If you're a big uniform guy like I am, I just like the look of my players. This is a great way to do that. You could just go through out of the gate and just go through every single one of these and find just unique looking jerseys and see which ones that just appeal to you the most. I think this is a nice little quick way to do that. It doesn't show you the helmets. 
uh, what we can do, let's try this. I want to go to, I want to go to helmet. Maybe that's not an option. Again, I haven't looked at this too hard. Face mask. Here's what, no. Okay, you got to go back and change the. I wish you could change the team from here. But what I was getting at is just in general. You could just go through the home uniforms, which I think is just really slick. A really nice, quick way to shuffle through them. Okay, I want to exit and lose the current player. Let's talk about rosters for a little bit. There's some differences. First of all, when you're just looking at the rosters, you cannot see the player's head, what he looks like. Does he have dreadlocks or a mullet, a buzz cut? Is he black? Is he white? Is he whatever? You can't see that here. That's just a bit of a bummer, but that's not a, a huge deal. The biggest thing when you look at is if you look over on the right side of the screen, player positions and totals. Here is the total team for Tennessee. In NCAA football 2004, the most amount of players you can have on one team is 55. 06, it's 70. If that's a big deal to you, it's something to think about. That's a 15-player difference. This hasn't seemed to really affect too many people because you just get used to it. You adjust. You don't have to recruit as hard or as many players, which is a bit of a bonus. We'll get into that too whenever I do a Dynasty video. But that's something to think about. You only got 55 players to go after or uh, to put on one team. Now, we could go to depth chart, and I'll talk a little bit about this more once we play like a Dynasty video of some sort. But you can't switch up the type of offenses you want to do in this game, meaning... You are stuck with the same amount of personnel per position. For example, with fullback, I think the game forces you to have two fullbacks on your team at all times. I don't care if you're an air raid team and you will never use a fullback. It forces you to have at least two fullbacks. So something to think about there when you're creating or when you're getting into playbook stuff. And speaking of playbooks, this is another biggie. Let's go to audibles. If you notice, there was not a creative playbook feature. That's because in 2004, you cannot create your own playbook. You can't create a profile, and you can't put your favorite nine formations together and move them around. This means you have to focus on team playbooks. This is super important. If you remember on the website, I have a matrix, a playbook matrix for every single team and which formation they have. That's not as important for 06 because, again, you could create your own playbook. But in 04... You have to really pay attention to that. So that's super important. So you really have to go through these and notice who has what. I created a playbook matrix for 04. I may post that on the website or something. I don't know. But either way, it's something to think about. It's super important. You have to actually select the team playbook and use that in Dynasty mode, Exhibition, what have you. Another thing we need to talk about. Here, it looks like I got the Alabama playbook up. One thing you also need to think about is if a team has a particular formation, for example, ace normal, if another team has the same formation, they may not have the exact same plays. So for Alabama, here are their 18 plays. Now that's one constant with this. Every formation has 18 plays. I'm pretty sure it does. Here are their 18 plays at an ace normal, but if you go to another playbook, we can go to... Click OK, and we can go to, uh, I think Florida may have one. Let's go to Florida. Florida has ace normal, but it's possible, and this may be a bad example, but it's possible they may have a different play or two. So that's another thing you got to think about. That's another thing I'd have to cover if I ever wanted to, like, take images of all the playbooks. That would be humongous because, again, every team has a different playbook and different set of plays. So something to think about. So is this... A, a negative, kind of yes, because in 06, it's simplified you can create your own playbooks. But if you love 04, it's a different type of strategy to think about. Hey, what playbook do you run? I run the Oklahoma playbook. I have to run the Texas Tech playbook or the Akron playbook. And you could kind of work off of that. So at least the fun part is going through all these playbooks and seeing what's all available. So again, just something to think about when you're playing 04. Uh, let me look at my notes here. I talked about playbooks. Let's go through the rest of these real quick. My NCAA, EA Sports Bio, they turned this off, I think, once you started the 06 games, and we'll look at this here. It's just a collection of all of your data and your history of playing EA Sports games up to 2005. As you can see here, it's charted three games. 
2004, 2005, Madden 05, and then it's the Blade of 05. Again, once they hit 06, they stopped doing it, but this is a nice little thing to kind of show, hey, how long have you been playing some of these games and whatnot? So that's pretty cool. But it's not super useful. It's not really not that important. They got a trophy room. There's nothing that different about that. Greatest games, there's nothing different about that compared to 06. Same with Record Book. Pinnet Collection and Campus Challenge is sort of go together. You go to Campus Challenge, and it's just a way to keep track of random feats that you've, you know, have completed. Kick a 40-yard field goal. If you complete that, you get eight points if you're like on Heisman or whatnot. Uh, also, that's how you earn credits. And credits is when you go to Pennant Collection and you start earning some of these. You can buy however many that you want. College Classic, like Butterfingers. I have a total of 125 credits. You see that at the top right. I can hit, uh, I can spend the points on that, and I can use that in an exhibition game. I'm not a big pennant guy. I mean, I'd, I'm too busy doing dynasty stuff or something a little more serious. But it's another feature, which is pretty cool. I'm going to exit out of that. Let's go to settings real quick. Nothing's changed here. Heisman injuries, game fatigue, campus challenge. You can turn that on or off. AI, again, nothing's changed between this and 06. I got everything set at 50. I haven't touched these. Penalty, nothing's changed here. Again, some penalties, I've kind of noticed in some exhibition games, you'll see more penalties in 04 than 06. That may be a positive to some people. I, to me, I, that may be a positive. Because uh, sometimes in 06, you may not ever see a penalty. Again, each game is different. You'll just have to adjust these to your liking. Visual, this is no different here. Auto instant replay, Yes, it's got instant replay, but the cool thing is, and hopefully we'll show the exhibition, I like the instant replays in this game. It's pretty slick, and they got rid of some of the ones that I really liked once they started making new games. But either way, you notice I have the menu music turned off. You can go loud, or you can go all the way down. I just turn it off so you can hear me a little bit better. This is all normal stuff. Uh, easy play, I'm not going to cover that. That's for people who just don't want any challenge. System... This is all pretty normal stuff. User, here's where we get to the controls. We'll cover a little bit more of this when we get into practice mode. But the one downside to 04 compared to anything that goes above that is it just has less stuff. It has less button features, less modes, less this, that, and the other. So it kind of depends on what really is important to you. And again, we'll cover that in exhibition mode. So let's just go ahead into exhibition mode and do that now. Let's go to game modes. Let's go to practice. Now we can go. Uh, I'll be ten. We'll go up against Florida. We'll keep it pretty even. They're pretty even teams, as you can tell right here. Let's go play in Neyland Stadium, and we can show you uh, how good the uh, the graphics are. I think the graphics are pretty sweet in this game. We'll go here, and I'm gonna select. I'm gonna go with the Florida State playbook. It's got a good balance of personnel groupings just so I can show off a few different things. So I already skipped it. Let's go here, go Florida State, and let's just click Continue. So first thing we want to cover is like the run game. I want to show a few different differences there and to show a few differences in the passing game like compared to 06. I can't cover everything, and I haven't played enough of this game to explore and find out all the little nooks and crannies. But there's a lot of differences, some good, some bad. We'll cover a few of them. Okay, first let's just start with the running game. Let's go, we'll pick, let's go I normal. And let's pick halfback lead, just a basic run play up the A gap or B gap. We'll go up against a 4-3 random play from the current formation. First of all, let's look at the graphics here. These things are really sweet. Again, I love the player models. I love the bulkiness of it all. It looks really crisp to me. Now, I'm not a big fan of this coach cam. It goes back way too far. But just a look of it, for it being two years older than 06, I think it's pretty crisp, clean. I like it. Okay, run game. Let's talk about the biggest difference I've seen is in 06, when you hit triangle, you know you can flip the direction of the run. You can flip it to the left or to the right. This is super important for a situation like this. We have the defensive line shifted to our right. Naturally, I'd want to flip the run to the left. In 2004, you can't do that. This is a bummer. 
Unless I'm missing something, somebody please put in the comment section that I'm missing it, but you cannot flip the direction of the run. I cannot hit triangle, bring up the hot routes, and I can't hit left on the D-pad. I can't hit right, nothing happens. I can hit R, R is for the halfback, and I can hit left, but again, you can tell he's still running to the right. That's an issue. That's something you just have to get over. I have to get over it. It's a problem, but it is what it is. So that's one thing I kind of wanted to bring up. Also, you'll notice that there are no impact players on the field. This could be a good thing or a bad thing. I like some things about impact players. And I like there's some things I don't like. At least with impact players removed from the game, you can't say, well, their impact player just abused me and I couldn't stop it. It's unfair. I quit. You can't use that excuse in this. This is like sort of an even playing field type of feel to this game. So it's just something to think about. Again, I don't, I did not notice it that it was not in here, but at least you can't feature an impact player. To me, I enjoy featuring an impact player, but here at least you can't use that as an excuse to losing. Let's put it that way. Next thing I will talk about with a running game is the halfback draw. This was another big difference I've noticed. Let's go to a gun formation. Let's go gun spread. And let's go inside draw. Let's go up against a, a dime package. And let's go on the right hash. That's not that important. In 06, halfback draws from the gun are terrible. They're slow. And your half your offensive line doesn't block all that well. In 04, it is super quick. Let's run a few plays. Notice how quick that is. I mean, just out of the gate. Now, I might get much yardage out of it. That's not the point. Notice how quickly the halfback got the ball. I can see here to wait and see if I need to make any adjustments, but I can get some yardage here. But he gets the ball so quick that you can make your adjustments. I think that's just pretty slick. So, we could go under center. In the gun, it's great. I really like what I saw there. So, I'm going to use halfback draw a lot whenever I get around to it. But if you go to halfback draw from under center, and we'll go up against a 4-3, that's fine. It's about the same as 06 in terms of how quickly he gets the ball. It's kind of slow. It's slower than what you get from the gun. See, it takes him a little while compared to going back to the gun. And we got to go back to the gun, and I got to show you another thing. We go back to halfback draw or inside draw. Look at the offensive line of what they're doing. They are not pass protection. They are in run mode. They are all pushing forward. So let's go back to halfback draw from the gun. Everybody's shifting that way. I can quickly go this way and get some yardage. Now, let's break this play down. Look at the offensive line here. Let's go put it on this guy right here. If I can put a cursor on him. Cursor's kind of slow in this game. You look here. Look at the offensive line. They're all pushing forward. This is great. This is like Art Briles type stuff. He didn't run draw, but it's got that feel to it. They're pushing forward, and it's quick out of the gate. I love that. That's awesome. 06 does not do that, so that's a plus in the win column for 04, for sure. Uh, another play I want to talk about before we get into some passing stuff is let's go to counter. Counters in 06 aren't all that great. I've noticed in this game they're not that bad. They're I think they're a little bit better, and we'll cover this. Okay, let's just, again, we can't shift it. I wish we could go to the left, but we can't. And we may not be able to showcase it here, but... Anyway, let's talk about this. Let's see if that popped up. The guard is supposed to pull, and he didn't. Uh, that's because he had somebody right over him. Let's try this again. Hopefully, he'll do it. Maybe I picked the wrong button, or the wrong play. Let me go back to another one real quick. Uh, let's go ace normal. I think this will work from here. Counter trap, I think is what it's called, if I can find it. Counter trap, you can obviously see a guard pull it. So let's just go with that. Notice how quickly the guard pulls. Really quick. Now, he may get in your way or whatnot, but we can look here. Look at the guard right here. He pulls really quick. It doesn't matter what counter play you call. From what I can tell, he pulls quick. This is excellent. If you're patient, you can have him pick up the block right there, and you can pick up some yardage. In 06, I think only the counter weak plays do that. But most of your basic counters in 06 don't do that. So I thought that was a bit of a positive. Now, we could cover one thing really quickly. Some things haven't changed, like your toss plays. We can go back to I normal. And we can go lead toss. We'll go up against 4-3. That's fine. 
The blocking is still just kind of tough. You'll notice the pursuit. Look at the back or the front seven of the defense here. Look how quickly they pursue. I mean, just out of the gate, the linebackers are coming after you. So halfback tosses are probably not as good in this game as in 06. Or about, both of them are pretty bad in my personal opinion. That's just something to consider. That's just a few things I want to cover in the ground game. Another thing we'll cover in the exhibition uh, when we cover the exhibition game, we'll cover the man and zone coverage stuff. Or we could cover that right now. Let's just do that now. Let's go to passing game. Let's first of all, I can tell you out of the gate, let's pick a pass play out of, we'll go wide receiver post out of gun spread. We'll go up against nickel. Okay. In 06, the biggest advantage we have is knowing if the defense is a man or zone as soon as you break the huddle. In this game, you really can't do that. At least I haven't found it yet. So this adds a little extra challenge, which means you have two options. Either you can motion somebody over and see if they're a man of zone. You see the guy didn't go over there to him. You could do the get this guy from slot, see that corner, did not follow him. Or you can make the decision after the snap. Something to think about. We'll talk a little bit about that in the exhibition part of the video. Next, I want to talk about man, how to defeat man. There's no difference in 06 and 04 in terms of what to look for. And I'm just talking about when it comes to beating man, it's all about which routes work against man. Let's go a stretch at a gun spread at his deep attack out of 06. Let's go basic cover two at a nickel is fine. Okay, let's say we know they're in man. Nothing really changes. You just kind of have to know which routes are great against man. Out routes may be able to work here if I can do it. The guy had a good beat on it. <laughs> That's a terrible example. I could probably get to him, maybe. No, he's going to score. Okay, we could try that again. But it really helps to know which routes are just good against dig route, a good man beater, just for example. We could try this right here. Post route, pretty good against man. So I don't know all of the good routes that are good against man, but just something to think about. Again, when it comes to man, it's all about which routes work against that particular coverage. Big thing we need to talk about is zone, okay? The biggest difference I've noticed in the passing game from 06 to 04 is how to, exact, how to attack zone coverage. Let's select wide receiver post again, okay? And let's go up against... Uh, cover two, it's basic cover two is fine. It doesn't really matter. One thing I've noticed is the defense goes back way too far in this game. So attacking deep zone is extremely hard to do. Almost, I'm not going to say it's impossible. It really depends on the defense, but you can't run basic cover two beaters, cover three and cover four. The good news is because the defense goes back so far, you can really attack short. I'll just give you an example. Out route to the strong side against zone. You cannot do this in 06. So let's just look at, from a distance, the back seven. Look how everybody goes back really far. I mean, this guy goes back an extra 15 yards, and he really shouldn't have to. The middle linebacker doing stuff over the middle is really hard because these guys are pretty close. But what you can do is go to the strong side of the field against zone short and attack it pretty well. Notice how everybody keeps going back. They keep going back. Look at this corner is like 15 yards back from the line of scrimmage. Against cover two, he should be sitting right here, but he's not. In general, in 04, again, when it comes to zone, the defense likes to go back. They don't want to give up the deep ball, basically, against zone. But again, the good news is you can attack short. This is good news for all you air raid lovers, West Coast, what have you. You can really attack the short field pretty easily. Let's do it again. Again, strong side, short. Again, zone, he was wide open. It's just a bad throw. We could try it again. Right there, and he could get a huge play. Look at this. I'm getting like 15, 20 yards out of that easily. Okay. Something to think about. Also, when it comes to short, you can also... He had curl routes short. That's a 10-yard curl route short. That's stick right there in the air raid world. You can attack short pretty easily in this game. 
Even if it's man, that's a good man beater too. So that's just something to think about. Let me look at my notes here. Uh, attacking zone, field side. Again, short zone on the strong side. You could go, and that's maybe a pick six right here if I can make a tackle. Okay. Next thing we want to talk about is the pocket. I think 04 does a better job of this than 06. Gone are the days of you just dropping back. And you're going to get sacked every time you do that. We'll, we'll do this again. Here, you can't keep dropping back. What you can do is you can get into the pocket a little bit. And then you can make a throw. I think 04 does a better job at a pocket presence than 06 does. I can't drop back unless I was getting really great protection. I got good protection here. But it always seems best to stay in the pocket. And you can back up if needed. And then you can throw. But I, just in my opinion, I think the pocket presence is actually a little bit better in 04 than in 06. Uh, let's see. Another thing we want to talk about, and let's just try it. I'm just going to throw a deep ball. When you talk about, I think, oh, he made a catch. That's a pretty good catch. I like it that your receivers look back when you are about to throw. Look at this receiver here. Boom. He's looking back. This is pretty cool. I actually think they got rid of this in the later games. I have to go back. I don't remember in 06, all of my receivers looking back. He's looking back. Let's see. He's already doing his curl. He's looking. If you're throwing to the receiver, he's going to look back to the throw. I, it's a small thing, but I think it's pretty realistic. I like it. Even the safety does the same thing. He's looking back for the throw. He knows it's coming. Both of these guys are looking for it. I think that's pretty cool. Again, I think they got rid of it in the later games. Okay, let's just go into exhibition mode, and let's just play a game. I don't know what's going to happen here. I may just do a couple of uh, a couple of quarters, and maybe I may do the Dynasty stuff afterwards. I don't know. I may do that again in another video, but let's just go click no. Let's go to play now. And I still want to be TNC just because I'm a ball fan. I want to play on the road, and let's go play in a – let's go Tennessee – it doesn't really matter who. I'm just kind of going through here. Let's go. Oh, I just want to do something random, but I just want to look at cool uniforms. Let's go up against North Carolina. I can't tell you the last time I played in this stadium. We'll select the stadium, make sure I, I like the weather and everything. We'll click continue. And I want the Florida State playbook. Let's click. I like the Florida State playbook a little bit better. Again, it kind of gives me just a little bit of everything. Okay, this should be pretty interesting. First, we need to talk about the uh, some of the pregame stuff. It's, they've done a lot of cool things back in 04 that I really like that they got rid of for whatever reason. I guess they thought it wasn't as important. And some of this stuff isn't important. Gameplay is all that matters. It's definitely the most important. But it's those small things that you appreciate when you play other games like 06 that they might have got rid of. Graphics look great. I love it. Graphics look really good. One out here for today's game between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Tar Heels of North Carolina. Everything looks smooth. Look, this is awesome. Why they got rid of this, I do not know. And here come the Tar Heels. Yeah, graphics are sweet. Welcome everyone, Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. We hope you're as excited as we are for this one. I didn't the want to say anything, just want you to watch this, but I, it's pretty good stuff. Opinion, Kirk. Uh, there's no question about it. This one's going to be pretty Cedric ugly. Houston, Tennessee, 21 by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Yep. No question. This is new. Tennessee has a huge advantage in one particular. They got rid of it. Don't know why. Game. Kirk, look for them to run the ball 40 to 50 times in this game and absolutely demolish. And they got rid of that. This defense. Again, the graphics look really good. Thanks, guys. Should be an exciting game. Now let's get down to midfield where they're ready for the coin toss. We go with the coin toss. I want the ball first. Just get back on offense out of the gate. 
so let's just see what they have here. They got mass subs that you can introduce, which is normal. Stats and scores, and we'll talk about this here in a minute. I really like the uh, when you're calling plays, they give you the updated stats across the board after every single play, which is pretty cool. In-game strategy, nothing's really changed here. You got formation subs. One thing you do not have in this game is sub packages. That's a bummer, but again, it's a thing you work around. But they do have formation subs, so at least you have that. You can set audibles and all that good stuff. And I haven't set any of my audibles, so we're going to just kind of wing it here. One thing you can look at, they got return left. They got a few different options, but we'll just go with the middle. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. One thing I need to do, I'm going to turn this down. It's so loud to me. Let's go to, ooh, I can't, I have to change the settings here in a minute. I got to do it between plays. Kicks it off. I do not like the kickoff view. Tindley. It's too late. It four. If that made sense, the camera angle turns as soon as you get the ball. I wish it was a little bit sooner so you can kind of read what's going on. But anyway, let's go to settings. I just need to turn this down just a little bit so you can hear me. The, the, the audio in this game is really good. Let's go to sound settings, and let's just go master volume. Let's put it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm in the middle of the field. What we can do is try halfback draw and see what works here. They'll get the ball here. At the Again, you cannot tell if they're in man or zone. I don't know how. They come out okay, that tells me they're a man because that safety came down. On the give. And that's, that's just a good stop, ball. but at least the halfback draws really quick. Again, that's too really loud for me. Again, forgive me, i got to change this. Though. I just want to make sure you hear me really well. Let's go back here. Okay. We can try... I want to do a counter. Counter lead, that's why he. it's a counter, because the guy didn't even pull. Let's go to ace normal. Let's go ace twins and find that. Counter trap. Okay, the guard pulls. That's what I want to see. Second and 13. Since you don't know if they're a man or zone at times, at least with a twin set like this, you could tell that they're definitely mad because that corner's sitting over there. That's just great defense. And this is going to be third and forever. We'll go, I don't know, we'll go gun spread, and we'll go deep attack, a.k.a. stretch. I don't know if they're in man or zone, to be honest. Right now, I don't. I mean, I can always do a quick motion, and he's falling. So, they're going man. That's helpful. They're going cover two. Great catch. Good play by Swain. We can go uh, guns spread. I haven't looked at these plays too, too hard, but let's go post. Are they going man or zone? Oh, I don't know. I don't have to do motion. I can just wait till afterwards. They come out of the nickel. They'll throw on first down. Hey, come on. There we go. Across the middle. There we go. Get the first down with Banks. I didn't really look at the coverage. So that's something I got to get used to. Again, if you know if they are, if you know a way to tell if they are in man or zone, let us know before the snap. Here they are in zone. It's obvious because I went with a twin set and that corner's still sitting over there. Fumble. Out of the gate. Get it. So that was a bad play. Let's keep looking here. Ah, graphics look really good. Okay, second of 14. Let's try a play action play. PA fade. Let's flip it. That's one thing. With play action plays in those six, some of them you can't flip without it being really slow. Here, you can really flip them, and I don't think it makes a difference. I saw an individual coverage. Oh, it's a good catch. Another thing we can talk about, the guy's hurt. Another thing we can talk about is deep balls. Deep balls in this game. I don't think, I'm not going to use the word cheesy, but I think they're a little harder to complete in this game. I had, dang it, I didn't mean to do that. I think they're a little bit harder to complete in this game. I mean, he made the catch here. I mean, that was a great play, but a lot of people think in 06, deep balls are too easy to complete. That may be true. I mean, it just depends on what, you know, your viewpoint is on that. But anyway, I guess they're more realistic in this game than there are in 06. Let's try, uh, let's go, let's go five wide. Let's try 
Where's an ant? Let's go slot ants. This is like deep attack, but an extreme version of it. Are they going man or zone? I'm not sure, but I think I may go to L1 or to L regardless. Looks like we're going zone. Again, short field against zone to the strong side is doable in this game. That's awesome. It gives me a lot of hope. I love the short field stuff. West Coast, Air Raid. We can do that in droves in this game. That's awesome. So now let's go here. I want to do another halfback draw. Let's do a lead draw out of gun two-back slot. Again, I don't know if they're in man or zone. He's shifting. They're shifting that way, which is good. Did I get the first? Not really sure. Let's say they may do a replay or... Say I love that. I love the little... I don't think they had that in those six. It doesn't feel like it did. Uh, we're on the four-yard line. Is it going to go goal line on me? It may go goal line on me. One thing I wanted to show, and they're going with goal line. This may not work. Is you can cut back if needed. Remember, you can't flip the run, but I can go to the opposite side if needed like this. If you need to. It's a little quicker, so you can do cutback stuff in this game. Uh, it is second and goal. Let's go goal line. Let's do a rollout. Oh, it's not play action. That's okay. Again, the clock's going by fairly quickly to me. I feel like the game is almost over. Let's go here. Ah, oh, he just missed it. Uh, we'll go goal line again, and let's do... Uh, let's go halfback tackle. We'll go to the left this time. I hope I actually don't complete it so we can talk about the field goal and the kick meter. There we go. Just be patient with it, and you can get a touchdown. All in all, pretty good, though. I like the feel. It just feels different than 06. In some aspects, sometimes it's not. Okay, the kick meter, it's no different in 04 than it is in 06. It's still quick in Heisman. It may be a little bit easier. I think it's a little bit more forgiving. The timing feels the same. It's just something you have to get used to. But again, that score drive, three over three and a half minutes. So I don't know if I ever do a dynasty. I don't know if I need to go up to like seven-minute quarters. Because that entire drive, it still was just us. So North Carolina only getting one drive out of this in one quarter seems a little low. So maybe in 04, you may want to increase, go up in the time on the play, or on the uh, time clock. All right. It looks like they're going four wide, so we can go nickel. At least they show you what formation they're probably going to be in. That's different than 06. Also, you can. Uh, I think in man, man defense, I think it's a little bit better this game than 06. In 06, it's very easy to attack man. To me, it is. And that's why I play a lot of zone. Let's do a zone here. We can do a monster two, I guess. Second down and seven to go. But you can run a lot more man in this game, I think you can, than 06. I'll control the middle linebacker. We'll see what happens. Going that way. Uh-oh, he's gone. Somebody good play there. So we can go back to man. But again, it shows you exactly what formation they're calling. Let's go 4-3. Let's go back to a cover one. I'm okay with all that. He's doing that. Motioning. Look at that fullback. He's a monster. He looks huge. It's a good catch there. Uh, let's go back to another one high. Here's another thing. Look real quick up to the very top of the screen. They put all the one highs together. Lightning, dog, and crash gold. That's really cool. I don't know why they switched that up in 06. I like having all the cover ones together. North Carolina comes out with an eye formation. Fullback, get him. Somebody get him. Great play. Awesome. I love the pursuit. I felt in full control of the free safety there. And I was using the speed button too. Rashard Baker. He was a stud back in the day. All right, that's the end of the quarter. That felt like a really quick quarter to me. We're going goal line, so we can do the same, I guess. 
Let's go Manlock. I'm afraid to do this. I don't know what's going to happen. This is the fifth play of this drive. Also, since I'm controlling a defensive lineman, let's talk about something. Let's go to settings and let's go to user settings. Let's look at defense. You got an extra moves here. You got two swim moves, two spin moves. I think in 06, I feel like I only got two instead of four. That's really cool. Another thing, in passing, this is a downer, but you have to toggle the passing icon. So if you want to run with your quarterback, you got to hit L2 and then run out. You can't just throw on the run. That's a bit of a downer. That's a negative in 04, but something you just have to get used to. They come out in a goal line set. Great play. I was able to get to the left on that one, or to, yeah, our left. So, they should punt. Let's do a double cross. Now, I probably should have went with a punt safe return here, but I didn't. That's okay. No big deal. Again, the punt camera is going to be really slow. It's I think it's a little too late. Look at this. I wish it would turn right now, but it's not going to. So, I have to fair catch. I can't tell who's coming. That's a bit of a negative to me. We can try ISO. Let's do ISO. Can you run up the middle in this game? I, I, I can't really tell the difference. Again, they're shifting to a right. I can't run to the left. I can't flip the run, but I can cut back as such. I didn't get nothing out of it, but at least you can cut back. That's just good pursuit by that defender right there. So I'm behind the chains. Let's go back to spread, and let's pick something I know. Uh... Let's go back to wide receiver post. That's fine. Are they going man or zone? I'm not really sure. I could do a really quick motion if needed. We can do that. And he looks like they're going man. With man, you could tack deep. Let's see. They're going cover two. So we'll go here. That's just a good play call there. Pick up something there. Let's stay here. I'm going to try to draw again. They're going nickel. This probably been a good time to have an audible. But at least he's moving in that direction. I got five yards out of that. I was feeling the heat. We can zoom out here. I was feeling the heat from that linebacker coming. He was blitzing. But at least I was able to pick up a handful of yards. Not bad. It is second and five. Let's stay here and let's do P.E. Reed. You got P.E. Reeds in here. RPOs. They, they work fairly decent in this game. I'm not sure if they are man. I could do a quick motion. Again, this isn't a big deal for me to do that. So they're going zone. I got several options here. We can go strong side zone, short side, or to the short field. First down. You cannot do that in 06. You could do that in 04. That's awesome. Let's go here and let's try. Let's go vertical. They are going man. Now, everything looks a little bit congested to me, so what I can do, looks like he's coming up. Let's see. It's like the safeties are coming up. Oh, almost intercepted. It's a good play. Good defense. That's one thing we need to talk about. Nine times out of ten on a post route, if I could put my cursor on him, cursor's not as responsive in this game. There we go. In a post rat, nine times out of ten in 06, your receiver is going to get a beat on this guy. He'll be able to get a good advantage underneath. Sometimes he does. Sometimes he doesn't in 04. Here, he didn't get underneath. The corner done a good job of getting in front of the receiver. Maybe the next time I call it, the receiver will get in front of the defender. Again, it's a little 50-50. I actually think that adds more depth to this game. So that's pretty cool. So at second and 10, we got to do something here. Let's just stay in this formation. Uh, do I have counter or I have a reverse? Let's try reverse. Let's see what happens. Second I haven't really tried. They're going man at least. Tennessee comes out with an eye formation. They're doing that. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Maybe reverses work halfway decent in this game. Nope. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, it's third and forever. We can go five wide. We'll go slot outs. We'll flip it. A normal post over the center, it's very hard to complete. I mean, we can try it here. Intercept it. Ooh. He actually had a bit of an opening there. In normal cover two situations, I didn't even see what coverage they were in. They went cover four, looks like. No, cover two. 
I just saw a big hole right here. That's the only way you can attack deep zone that I know of is to see if there's a huge hole. It's not a given. You can't just say, okay, it's cover two, my post will be open. It doesn't work like that in this game. Here, I threw it a little too late. It almost got picked. It probably should have got picked. So you have to read coverage just a little bit differently in this game, which, again, I think is a bit of a plus. So it's fourth and forever. I need a punt. Again, look at the clock. The quarter is almost over with. I mean, it's o halfway over with. That's a good punt. Number 47. It's going in that direction. I wasn't expecting that. And he it. Buffed it. Get it. Get it. Somebody get it. Oh, no. Watch him score a touchdown here. Sheds that one. Fumble. Somebody get it. And they oh, they got it back. Crazy play. Oh, wow. So the punting is a little bit sensitive in this game. I noticed how far out it went. And it looked normal. If you go back to the video or pause it and rewind it, you'll notice how the kick looked good on the kick meter. But apparently I didn't do a good job of the punt because he went to the right. Let's do a cover one. Scott is the single setback. They'll throw on first down. Steps up. It's a good play. And he's taken down. How about that reception, Lee? A good, a good little cut scene right there. I like it. And some good blocking. Uh, let's do a cover three cloud. I, again, I'm just throwing darts out here. I'm not really trying to look for anything specific, but Halfback draw, pick up five yards there. Four yards on that play. Uh, let's see. They got all the, like, for example, they got all cover two zones right there. The blitzes, that's awesome. That makes so much sense. Why didn't they do that in 06? Ball on the 33. Number four comes to the line with three wide. They go with a toss. Oh, oh good cut. Spins up field. Pick up the first. Down he goes. Again, I love the look of the uniforms, the, the player models. Everybody looks huge. We'll do another cover one high. Let's see. We'll flip that. And I completely goofed this up. That's a good play. I was controlling the corner. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Let's do dog goal this time. First and ten. See, the, the game, or the half is almost over with. Touchdown. It's a good play. All right. I'm going to tie it up. And, again, we better just play do two quarters because I, I want to get into some dynasty stuff. But I just want you to get a feel. Now, I know everybody and their brother who's been watching this video is going to play, has played 04 in the past, so forgive my ignorance. I'm just, you know, there's a few people out there who may not have played this game. Or haven't played it forever. And he tacks on the extra I wonder what are the odds of blocking field goals. It may be better in this game. We know it's about impossible in 06. Also, I want to try to run up the middle. In 06, you can't on kickoffs run up the middle all that well. You kind of have to do it on the side. So let's try it here. There may be a, a blocking of some sort. No, I'm not really seeing a whole lot there. But it's possible you may be able to run up the middle a bit better. So we got to do a two-minute drill. We need to get with it. Let's go deep outs. It's first and ten. Ball on the 18. Again, I couldn't tell if they're in man or zone. Tennessee comes out with five receivers. They'll throw on first down. You can go to the short or strong side, short zone though. Nice little catch there, huh, Coach? We can just stay here and we can try. We go slot outs. some really good yardage. So this out route to the strong side is always going to be my safety valve because it's good against man or zone. You pick up a first down there. You know it's always going to be there. Now what we can do, uh, let's do post here. At least we can tell maybe they're going zone or man. Uh, I can still go... Over there, I don't know if I got the first. And they pick up nine there. Got to call a timeout. I'm, see, the clock's going by really quick. So attacking deep is kind of hard for me. I, I, I'm struggling to find what I'm missing on that. We can go back to spread, and we can just do stretch. Second and one coming up here. 
Ball on their own 40. So everybody and their brothers coming up. So we're going to go over the top if we can. See what happens. They just overthrew it. Third and one. We'll stay here. Let's pick something. Uh, let's do P.E. Reed. We're going nickel. I can always attack over there. Get out of bounds. Third, first ten. Let's go five wide. We can try. I don't know. Let's go wide receiver post. Looks like we're going man because that nickel went over there. I could be wrong, though. Nope, we're going zone. Pick up the first. Again, if you love the air raid West Coast short passing, you can do some serious damage in this game. Uh, let's go back to P.E. Reed. They're going, I don't know. At least they're, he's coming up. Uh, let's see. They're going man. So, it looks like they're going with cover one. Oh, just a bad throw. Second 10, eight seconds. I got to get over the top, don't I? Uh, let's go P. Let's go flood. I may try to go to Jones on the far end. Let's see. Double teamed. Ooh, that's good defense. Three seconds. Third and 10, what yard are we on? Can I even kick a field goal from that angle? I'm on the 38. I probably can't kick it from there. So let's go Hail Mary. Let's just pick one. We'll see what happens. We'll take a chance. Oh, six points. Nice. Awesome. Oh, pretty slick. Okay, that's the end of the game. Let's just, I'm going to get out, and we're going to quit the game. Kind of give you just a rough idea of the exhibition, just sort of my thoughts on that. Hey, I, everything looks cool. It's got a different feel to it. There's some things you could do in this game that you can in 06 and vice versa. It's going to be like that for a lot of the NCAA football games. But I like what I saw right there, so let's just say that real quick, and let's go quickly go into dynasty mode and look at a couple of different things, and then I'll let you go. I think I may do another, if I get back to 04, I'll do a dynasty mode where we'll talk about recruiting and stuff like that. But I just want to talk about those smaller things at the beginning of a dynasty and some of the differences between this and an 06. So I hope this video has been somewhat enjoyable, useful. I had 04 on my mind, so I just wanted to do a video on it. Maybe tomorrow I'll probably go back to MVP 07 and play some more of it. I don't know. It just kind of went around the feeling at the time. But today, I just felt the need to do something with 04, so that's what we've done. Let's go to game modes. Let's go to dice mode. Let's click new. Here, we can edit the coach. We can do nothing has changed there. I can go to hairstyle. Hopefully, they got the mullet. Yeah, they got the mullet. Good deal. As long as they got the mullet. Anyway, I don't want to make the changes. Contracts on. Nothing's really changed here for me. I mean, from what I can tell in 06. You still got team prestige as the most you can have is six. We'll do Tennessee. That's fine. No big deal. Let's just begin the dynasty. I just want to show you some of the bare bones aspects of this game. The reason why I don't play as much 04 as I would like 06 is because it just doesn't have a certain amount of things that 06 or any of the newer games have. We go with preseason options. Nothing's changed here as custom schedules and red shirt players. That's all the same. Here's the biggest flaw with 2004. If you get anything from this video, get this. If you are in a conference, okay, you look at the play, the, the way this thing is set up. I kind of like the way it has it set up. It's got your non-conference on the right and your conference on the left. The biggest flaw with 2004 is your conference schedule never changes, meaning Tennessee, they are in the East Division. That doesn't change in terms of they're going to play all five other teams in the East. But if you look at the schedule, I'm playing Auburn. That means every single season, I'll be going back and forth with Auburn. It does not switch up to uh, Ole Miss or what have you. Alabama, they are always on the schedule for Tennessee. That doesn't change. That's normal. 
But look, Mississippi State, week 13. I will be playing Mississippi State every single week. For whatever reason, EA Sports did not think to switch up the schedules. So that is something to think about when you play Dynasty mode in this game. If this doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. But just so you know, if you're all, you know, for example, if you pick Tennessee, just so you know, you will play Auburn and Mississippi State every single year. Food for thought. Okay, I had to show you that. Uh, let's look at play week. Nothing should be different here. Uh, you go to team schedules a little bit easier. And you just go through your normal rigmarole. Uh, one thing, let's go to Sports Illustrated. I think this was introduced here. I don't think it was introduced in 03. But it's got less stuff. Again, preseason polls, there's just not a whole lot here. Heisman Watch, it does have that. Nothing's really changed here. I mean, just the look of it, but at least it's there. Preseason All-Americans, they have that in here. You can do all first team, second team, but they don't even have all-conference. That's all gone. There's no first team all-conference, second team all-conference. It's all strictly All-American. Conference outlook. That's just, that hasn't changed. If you go to ACC, it shows who they think is dead last. And what is interesting, are there only nine teams in the ACC? That's really, that can't be right. That's weird. I must be missing something. Surely there's not only nine teams. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's this was when, you notice here, Miami is not in here. Uh, Boston College is not in here. So that is interesting how that is set up. I forgot this was the year 2003. This is the season of 2003. Meaning, if you go to the Big East, if I can get to it, Miami, Virginia Tech, Pittsburgh, Boston College, Syracuse. All these teams are still in the Big East. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. So, again, something to think about. So, this actually is kind of important. If you want to be in the Big East, this actually is beneficial to be a Big East team because if you go to your schedule, if you go to preseason options, if you go to your schedule, you're going to face the same teams on the left over and over again. That makes sense because your schedule is, your conference is small. But if you're an SEC team, it's kind of a detriment. But if for a smaller conference, if we can go back to Sports Illustrated and you go back to Conference Outlook, ACC, that's actually an advantage per se because there's only nine teams. Big 10, a little bit different. There's 11 teams. Big 12, they got 12. They're split into divisions. They got the same problem as the SEC. Big East, it's small. You can handle that. Conference USA, this has probably got 12. They got 11. Independence, this may be a good route for you to take if you want to take one of these teams or you create your own team. The MAC, all that good stuff. Pac-10, only 10 teams, so it's not a big deal if you never play Arizona on your schedule or whatever. So, again, something to think about. So, that's all for Sports Illustrator. There's not a whole lot there. Coach options, we could talk about this. The playbook, this is super important. You can't create your own. Recruiting assistance, it's just one toggle of off or on. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. Uh, coach, this is all simulation, so I wouldn't worry about that. But that's kind of all there is to the coaching stuff. There is no what's your style of play, what offense do you run, what defense do you run. It's all in your playbook, really, especially like on defense. You'll have 4-3 three, and 3-4. Three, That's just something they left out. Report card, nothing looks different there. Go to positions, and you can quit your job. Nothing's really changed there. Uh, the biggest feature missing is there's no in-season recruiting. They didn't introduce that until 2005, if I'm not mistaken. So you can't recruit until the offseason. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, that's just at least you can focus on gameplay and trying to win games during the season. But it is what it is. It's something to think about. Nothing changed here with the features and my NCAA. It's just got your normal stuff. So, again, maybe in a future video, I'll do a dynasty video where we just look at recruiting. Maybe just offseason recruiting. I think that's a good idea. Okay. We'll get out of there. Hopefully this video was somewhat useful. Again, the next video, we may cover the Dynasty stuff or I may do a full game. I don't know. But I'm looking forward to the, all the comments and questions you may have because there's a lot of you out there who played a whole lot more 04 than I have. Maybe there's some stuff I'm missing. Please put that in the comment section. I'd like to hear some of what you have to say because maybe there's some extra stuff I'm missing. But overall, I think this is a really good game. It's different. It's got a different feel. 
to 06, and it's a kind of a breath of fresh air. A lot of stuff you can do, a lot of stuff you can't do. All pretty neat. So come on back. I don't know what video I'm going to do next. Again, I may do MVP 07. I may go back to 06. we got to get back to that dynasty. I probably will be doing that. But again, I like what I see here. I want to explore more 2004, so we'll see what happens. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.